Okay, so welcome scholars to our SMM module 1 which is the graphics design basics with Canva. Okay, so in here, uh, for all we know, hindi naman tayo lahat is uh, what we call the graphic designer or graphic artist, no? Very few um, may mga talent sa ganito. Okay, but for all you know, this can also be learned. Okay, pwede rin matutunan at syagaan and later on at least you will have be able to um, produce uh, social media assets that is pleasing to the eye, that is uh, relevant, simple, and direct. Okay, so siguro um, uh, when we create our own graphics, okay, when we create our, our own assets, no, our collaterals for social media, we feel na uh, hindi ito maganda it's not proper because basic basically because we do not know the foundation or the very basic of graphics designing okay so in here with the use uh, with the help of canva the graphics application tool that we uh, that that is very popular right now and very user friendly uh, actually canva uh, canva was designed for non graphics user okay for Actually, I'm not also a graphic person, but I am enjoying Canva, and I found out that as long as you practice constantly doing it and constantly learning about the principles and the basics of uh, graphic designing, unti unti mo din siya matututunan. Okay, that's why we, before we begin uh, designing or uh, your your assets, we are going to learn, and I'm going to share to you the uh, graphic design basics with canva okay so this time we are focusing on the fonts colors and images this is ito kasi yung pinaka foundation no ng pagcreate niyo ng mga graphics okay so why fonts colors and images matter okay font selection can be a daunting task with the endless possibilities of typefaces weights and sizes when used skillfully, fonts can make your design designs distinctive and convey your message with impact. Sa, da, sa, kinad, sa dinami dami na mga font, no? sometimes hindi mo na rin alam kung ano yung gusto mong gamitin sa iyong artwork. Okay? So, hindi mo alam ang pwede maging combinations. And font can really convey your message to your audience. Okay? Most especially yung mga combinations at saka yung mga weights, yung, yung uh, bigat. No, yung, yung mga sizes and at the same time yung mga different kinds of typefaces okay so color relationships are fundamental to great design okay knowing how to navigate the color wheel can help beginner designers understand how to compose stunning and expressive color palettes so would you imagine a design without color okay so uh, hindi mo ma-appreciate no hindi mo ma makikita yung beauty ng iyong design. Okay. But, even if you have your color, no? Ando yun ang available color. Uh, um, do you know how to combine them with other different colors na hindi siya magkakontrast? O, he, na, o yung mga colors na bagay sila when you combine it. So, yung, yung, yung color, combine it with a great font, so it will really convey a message to your assets. Okay? So, images. Images capture emotion in ways that can serve to evoke specific responses from your audience. With thoughtful selection and manipulation, you can use these images to tell the story of your design. So, with this font, color, and with the combination of images, the whole story, the whole story will begin. Okay. So, your image should be able to jive with the color of your font okay or the color of your background the color of your shapes later on okay so fonts let's study just a little bit of regarding about fonts so basic typographic terms serif okay so at least at least class no you would be able to identify later kung ano ba to yung mga different kinds of fonts natin available okay so, but at least uh, there, there are again, um, what do you call this? Uh, standard combination of of fonts like 
kailan mo pwedeng i-combine ang serif fonts with sans serif and with script. Kailan mo pwedeng gamitin ang script? Kailan mo pwedeng gamitin ang sans serif? Okay. Actually, there are a lot of uh, great tutorial in Canva. All you need to do is to explore. Pwede kanyang actually turuan. At may, may mga presets na rin siyang available. Kung ano yung perfect combination with different types of typography. Okay. So, with serif, fonts have small decorative edges at the ends of the letter. So, if you will notice this one, no? At the end of the letter, yung F, meron siyang parang pahabol. Pahabol na lines or pahabol na uh, style or design. No? With sans serif, fonts are geometric with no additional strokes at the end of the letters. So, parang ano lang siya? Simple, direct. Okay, so parang straightforward siya. Just like here, the example here, no? Sans serif. Wala na siyang decorative at the end of the letter or at the end of the font. Script. Okay, by the word itself, fonts may mimic the stroke of paintbrush, often clinking letters together. So, para siyang ito yung uh, cursive, no? Uh, uh, ito yung in Ilocano, we call this sil silpo-silpo. Okay? So, yan. Yan yung mga script. At least, if you were able to look at the particular font, you can identify if it's serif, sans serif ang kanyang petrography. When you identify, at least pwede mo siyang maibagay kung saan siya magjajay. Okay? There we go. So, choosing fonts, basic typography terms again. So, letter spacing. Okay. So, tracking is the space between letters on the line. Use this technique to elongate shorter words and create flash lines of text. Okay, yung text combination natin sa taas, pag actually, pag yung normal yan siya, napupunta yan siya sa gitna. So, pag katiningnan mo, medyo hindi siya maganda kasi yung spacing mo, malaki naman. No? So, all you have to do is to expand pag iwahiwala yung letter to make it more appealing. So, line height, no? So, ito yung spacing, letter spacing. No? You can, you can do that you can add decorative design on your font if you will uh, use letter spacing sometimes. So, line height. Line height is the distance between text from baseline. Okay. Oh, alter this space to provide breathing room for tightly tracked lines of copy. Okay. So, line height. So, ito yan siya. No? Yung, yung space, in, yung, yung distance between from the baseline ito yung tinatawag na line height. Okay. So if if you if you would like to include or insert any text or graphics at the middle, so you can actually adjust it, no? Pwede mo siyang i-adjust. But you can still you still you still, you, still, you have space at the center. So pwede kang so bahala ka na kung anong pwede mo ilagay at design. Choosing fonts, consider the styles. Okay. So if you see here, toys so with with toys no uh, aside from a very colorful color that is in, that is uh, attached to the font no you makikita mo yung kanyang style talaga no pang to, pang bata talaga siya so would you imagine itong Lor font ng L'Oreal ilalagay mo sa toys it would not it hindi siya magiging appealing no so as for all we know yung logo really speaks about your brand Okay, so toy, Toys Toys Rules um, is a shop full of toys. Ang um, brand na nilang, ang um, um, product ng mga ito ay puno toys. No? So with L'Oreal, or, or, ito naman yung mga pang hair, no? Mga products sila, mga shampoo, and etc. So nakalagay ka sa rito is professional. So when you look at the logo of L'Oreal, so makikita mo talaga na iba yung dating. Uh, very professional. Okay? Walt Disney, cartoon na cartoon, no? Kita mo, no? Script ang ginamit, no? Plus, may image doon sa taas. And, IKEA, strong and reliable. Okay. For Toys R Us, yan, may mga description siya sa baba, no? Playful and fun. Okay. Fonts emphasize your message. Okay. So, when you say strong, so, ito jive mo yung let yung font mo with the meaning. No? So, you will be able to emphasize your message. 
Kung strong yan, at ito ang font niya, parang malam niya. Okay? So, elegant, yeah, you can you can use uh, different kinds of script font with the word elegant. Uh, yun naman kasi talaga, like signature, elegant, quotation, short quotation, so yan, pwede mo yan siyang uh, gamitin. Okay. Choosing fonts, make it readable. So, the ang paggamit ng mga script na font depende yan, depende rin yan class so, pagka ganito ang mga mahahabang, kar mahahabang uh, words or madaming words like uh, one paragraph two paragraphs you seldom use yung mga script kasi mag ang tao magbabasa na yan eh, no? nakakaumay na siyang basahin pag ganito lahat ang mababasa mo okay? sa so, parang hindi siya masyadong clear Unlike, is two liners lang siya. It's a simple quotation. You can use the script. Okay, so make sure na it it would be re readable to all of your audiences. Matanda, bata, teenager, kayang basahin. Okay? So create hierarchy. Okay, so here, uh, you, uh, you, you can design, no? You can design according to your brand fascination also. You can consider that as well. You can you can now design sa copy mo na pag sinabi mong title ang lagi mong gagamitin is railway heavy okay with 42 size including size right subtitle eto naman siya and size okay importante dito ang size para ma-determine mo kung anong part siya ng hierarchy mo so for body railway team size 18 okay so i have here a link for you to check we cannot be able to discuss it right now but pwede mo tong i-check uh, tutorial from Canva okay choosing fonts create character contrast bold and regular okay bold itong sa taas and regular naman yung sa baba script and sans serif creatives no so itong image natin jives with the font that we have right now kasi creative siya mukhang gagawa ata ng something like uh, art itong image natin so yung font mo then will really drive into this image okay so <clears throat> um, character contrast kung ito ginawa mo siyang red do you think mababasa pa natin kasi background mo red no so you will be uh, please be ano, be very careful and take into consideration yung mga contrast character contrast natin most especially if you have an image background okay now uh, <clears throat> choosing fonts can result into create emphasis as well uh, just like this one no so my image tayo dyan looks like a soft drinks no so, kaya nilakay dito soda pop okay sans serif and regular sans serif combination okay so eto rin naman yung kay Frank L. James okay so there's another tutorial with this you can check on your slides and click on the tutorial and you can review it later so demand and attention wow okay, talaga namang napaka demanding itong font natin na to, no? so ang background niya ay towers so ang font niya sa gitna no? itong towers yun ang meaning kasi ng mga images na yan eh. itong towers no? ang, ginawa nung, ang ginawa ni designer pinatangkad niya din okay, and yellow blast with the light gray or light black combination Okay, so here, gumamit siya ng letter spacing para ma-cover up niya yung buong, para makahabol siya doon sa haba ng towers na word. Plus, building building foundry naman, a very formal uh, subtitle no, or heading to at the bottom of the towers. So, if you, if you, if you, if you will look at this graphic design, no? eh talagang nakakademand talaga ng attention. Pag, pag tinignan mo nga ito, ang una mong babasahin itong gitna. No? Towers. Kaya very demanding siya. Now, or or it dem nakakaano siya. It demands attention. Okay? At saka pareho lang din siya with here, ha? Diba? Kasi alam mo naman ng mga, alam niyo naman ng mga towers, super taas ng mga yan, just like the letter that we have right now in front of us. Towers. Okay? So, order and impact through alignment. Okay. So, you can also consider later on um, yung alignment ng mga text mo. So, kailan ba pwedeng mag-center? Kailan ba pwedeng mag-right? Ano ba ang bagay? Babagay ba siya? No? And at the same time, with the left align. Okay. 
So, balance through text is basic. Okay. So, mahaba or ma malaki yung image natin. Uh, background image, no? With this, no? Kasi medyo rectangle, rectangle ang shape niya. So, habulin mo. Okay? Pwede mong part ng design mo, parang almost ma-occupy mo na yung buong image. So, hindi naman kasi maganda class, no? Kung isasagad niya rito. Kaya, ang ang design lang is hinabul lang niya in such a way na uh, the font will cover uh, more than half, no? Three-fourth of the image. Okay. Okay, so there is another tutorial here to aid you, okay, uh, regarding the uh, balance through text spacing, again, uh, um, with the help of Canva. Okay, so colors. In fact, itong brush paint natin, walang colors, no? Plain white lang. Okay, but now we are going to study colors. Okay, we now proceed to colors. Hold on. Maximize ko lang. Okay. On the contrary, our image here uh, only has a plain color. No? Kasabihin nyo, wala tong color. Kasi ang white is a color also. Okay. Now, you have here your uh, color wheel and the hex code. So, the color wheel is a spectrum of 16 million different colors. Wow. So, if you would combine any hex code, change any, any number or letters with it hex code that's another uh, type of color or form of color okay sabi nga dito 16 million with the hex code you can actually get the exact um, color of a particular shape of a particular font kung ano, saan mo man yan nakita yung color na yan you can actually get the exact one the exact color of it by using the hex code so yun ang basis hindi lang uh, Ano kulay? Uh, gusto ko yan, oh, green. Pero maraming klaseng green. May light green, gray green. No? So, mahirap na siyang ma-determine. But, with the use of color picker class, no? So, uh, I know, I do not know if you are using the color picker, but, hold on. There you go. Okay. So, I've installed in my browser this color picker. This one. So, marami namang available dyan, no? So, I'll point the uh, uh, pick so point ko dito na green kita ko siya green o oh, orange sorry ayan yung hex code okay so kung may makita kang shape or color na gusto mo over the internet you can just use the uh, color picker para makuha mo yung totoong hex code and you'll be able to use it on your collaterals okay go go okay so, evoke, uh, colors evoke emotion to color. Okay, do you know, do you know class, kung bakit orange yung mga uniform na nasa prison? Because orange, nakakababa daw ng temper. Okay, para hindi sila masyado maul, makita cool, stress, excuse me. Or, um, yung stress level, hindi masyadong tumaas, at cool lang sila. True enough, no? Because warm, because reds and or reds oranges and yellows evoke energy and vibrant emotions just like your warm okay for greens blues and purples evoke calm and soothing emotions okay so this is blue as well yeah so with colors no you can uh, actually uh, show what kind of emotion and gusto mong convey with your message so color relationships explore a color gradient Okay. So, with this, uh, you can use your sliders to obtain lighter or darker version of the same color. So, yun yung tinatawag natin gradient. Okay? Pero, nasa, nasa same color pa rin siya. Pero, it could be darker, it could be lighter. Na nagko-combine. Okay? Just like this one. Okay. Harmony through similar... Harmony through similar color. Okay. So, with this, no... Uh, almost magkaka-family sila with the, in the color wheel almost magkakatabi din sila so analogous analogous colors are located next to each other on the color wheel resulting in seamless low contrast harmony okay kumbaga low contrast hindi siya masyadong matingkad 
just a very light lang combinations just like this one ganda no ganda ng combination okay visual cohesion to monochrome monochromatic colors are dark medium and light versions of the same color okay but they are they are all in the same color so, kikita mo lang dito no this is the darker one the uh, medium and the light version pero yung color is the same Okay, so you can have that combination as well. Depende sa presentation mo ng uh, uh, asset mo. Okay. Contrast using complements. Okay, complementary colors are on opposite side of the color wheel. So, yan o. Oh. Ito yung dito yung isa, dito yung isa. Creating the most contrast with each other. So, you have another tutorial here. You can click it after our lecture and uh, keep learning. So, contrast using complements. Okay. So, with this, no, your background mo medyo light gray. Ah, uh, sorry. Medyo may pagka-dark gray or light black. Combine it with red and white. And readable siya. And a very good combination. Okay. So, limit your color palette to four colors. So, it will be safe if you, on your palette, gagamitin mo lahat itong nasa color palette mo. Pwede rin namang tatlo lang, pwede rin namang dalawa lang. But safe ka na if dito sa apat lang. More than that, medyo, ano na siya, uh, exaggerated. No? Medyo, hindi na maganda sa paningin. Choose colors appropriate to the subject of your design. So, ang subject natin ay itong image, of course. And this is uh, brown in color. So, if you'll notice, brown yung ating... Uh, uh, bar, no, that covers the image, and another brown also, this is in the same color, no, medyo light lang siya, para mabasa, para hindi sila mag-contrast, and uh, not so white, no, this is not actually white, no, this is a family of white, no, so sometimes, it's good to, it is also nice to combine, or to use uh, in your font, no, pag medyo darker ang iyong background, yung mga uh, color white na hindi siya masyadong white yung hindi masyadong matingkad no you can use that para at least mas mababasa siya hindi nakakasilaw no pag binasa okay okay so with this lesson we are going to discuss naman the other elements of a complete uh, the other elements of graphic designing i should say rather so we now we will now discuss the background shapes and layout Okay, so why backgrounds, shapes, and layouts matter? Backgrounds takes a blank canvas and set the stage for your design. An effective background, whether it's an image or, or thoughtful manipulation of white space, will create visual appeal and harmony. Actually, no, kahit background nga lang yung nakalagay dyan, no, depende sa mood, no, depende sa mood or depende sa... Uh, event or activity or kung saan pwedeng gamitin would suffice the uh, graphics no but of course you need to convey a message so you need to put uh, shape uh, you need to put fonts and combination of colors shapes are versatile tools in your canva toolkit be creative and use this element as an alternative to photographic images to create visual flair in your layout Okay, so marami tayong shapes na pwedeng magamit sa loob, sa inside the Canva toolkit. Okay, so you can actually replace the image, no? Uh, kung hindi siya, if it's inappropriate to use image, you can use uh, shapes, no? You can be creative as you, as you can. So layout design draws upon an understanding of alignment, white space, and hierarchy. The, this is the overall uh, ano ba? Uh, positioning of all your of all the other elements of a design or a graphic design. A sound graphs of these principles will will allow you to create beautiful composition of graphics and text. Okay, so brilliant backgrounds, merry text and images. Consider the empty space. Okay, so here. Um, this is the whole image, no? And um, in your uh, in your mind, uh, yung naka-design sa inyo, 
naka-design um, yung pagiging creative o pagiging naka-design na, na layout mo dito would be you need to put a text on this particular image. So, bawa, pinicturean mo to or nakuha mo to, na-capture mo tong image ito, make sure na you have these white spaces no? para pwede mong lagyan ng font. Pwede mo pa siyang magamit kung ano pang pwede mong mailagay. So, identify the empty spaces in your photos and add text to those areas. Or, kung hindi naman, ito yung binigay na image mo, gumawa ka ng design according to the message. So, ito ang pwede mo gawin. Take advantage of the white spaces. Using transparency. Okay. Kita nyo itong black here. Ay, sorry. Yung bar here. Nasa gitna. Okay. If you, if, if you observe, no? Medyo lighter siya at medyo transparent. Nakikita yung uh, other background sa likod, no? And this is what we call transparency. Okay, you can adjust, you can adjust it, no? So, double purpose, you can see the background at the back, and you can still read the uh, font uh, at the front of this uh, shape, okay? So, work with image features, okay? By resizing, the adjusting the placement of your image, you can work with specific photo features to place your text in creative ways. Yes. Okay. So, this is again the uh, white space. So, pwede ka dito mag-decorate mag or maglagay ng mga elements mo of your design. So, again, there's a uh, tutorial here to uh, explain further and to teach us more all about uh, images. Okay. So, utilize contrast. A, when using a photos as background, choose ones provide efficient space and appropriate coloration to contrast against against your text. So okay lang okay lang to with, with this ano design kasi white naman siya pero pag ginawa mo siyang blue magko-contrast siya. Hindi hindi niya siya nababasa. Use borders with text. Okay, just like this one. So you can also do this. Uh, do that in your design. Adding borders around text can help frame and bring focus to the message in your design. Okay. So, ito ginagamit sa mga quotations, no? sa mga announcement, quotations, or if you want to emphasize among, uh, if you want to emphasize the text inside that box, no? you can use this, or your message inside that box. Create your own uh, texture. Okay. Ito yung, ano ba, ito yung pagiging magaspang ng image. Ito yung pagiging uh, smooth, yung pagiging rough ng image, no? So, a desert is a place without expectation. A desert is a place without expectation. No? So, parang major rough ito, no, compared to this one. So, you can also adjust that with Canva, no? So, by resizing an image within your grid, you can size texture within the image itself as your background. Use blocks of colors. Okay. So, kanina, we uh, learn about transparency. No? Ito rin na-apply yan ng transparency, but with a color. Okay. So, yung, so yung blocks or box na ito, no, has a color. No? So, nilagyan ng, ano, sabi, ito nga gray, uh, light block, combination of yellow, talagang magka-partner yan din sila. Okay. So, with the white. Right, adding a solid colored square can provide a clear backdrop of for the message you want to communicate in your design. Okay. So blur your background. Yan. So actually maganda rin ito, no? Scholars, maganda rin tong magbo-blur ka kasi ang gusto mo lang din talagang i-focus etong font mo. Gusto mo lang din kasi ma-highlight din yung background mo. But you're going to blur it. Okay? Blur it. Choose a photo with switch textures and then adjust to bl the blur on the image so that you can place text on top that stays sharp and readable. Yes. With this now, with the blur uh, background at your back, you can now clearly read the uh, text in front or the message. Okay? So, desaturate your images. So, by, by decreasing the saturation in your images, you can create distinct contrast by overlaying bright and bold color. So, may adjustment ng saturation doon. E, no? Sa Canva. Uh, please explore na lang din kung uh, paano nyo siya ma-adjust that will suit that will suit into your uh, uh, collateral needs. Okay? Now, we go to shape. Okay? 
Toys Plus. Toys Plus ba yan? <laughs> okay.
Okay, now we proceed with images, working with uh, images. <clears throat> so the power of grids, use grids to frame your images. So at least with the grids, no, you can uh, position on what part of the image of the whole image is your subject would be or uh, inside the grid no okay so resize images in your grid so to your grid mo at to your image mo if we're going to resize it no yung image ha okay, na, hindi kasama tong font no if you're going to resize it magiging mas macro shot siya <clears throat> mas magiging delicious siya kumbaga o mas lalaki yung image no so double clicking on image place with a grid allows you to resize or move images for visually interesting placement sa, sa eka nga okay so here there's another tutorial here again um, sent to us or made available to us by Canva so photo filters filters to correct and enhance so you can see here no medyo malam niya o medyo hindi vibrant yung color hindi siya matingkad kumbaga but with this, no, mukhang mas parang buhay na buhay yung ako. So, with the green color. So, these are filters. Okay? You can adjust it. Make an image crisper and cleaner by adjusting the brightness, contrast, and saturation filters. Okay, so, yan. Ganyan. Mag-apply ng filters. Ganyan na mag... Uh, mag uh, how does filters work? How does filters works in an image? No? Okay, evoke moods with filters. Of course. So, mas, mas, kung tutuusin, mas maganda tong tingnan, mas yummy itong tingnan because na-adjust mo yung mga contrast, uh, saturations, and brightness. No? Mas naging bright siya. Applying photo filters can create a, or highlight certain mo moods embodied by your image. Photo filters maintain a consistent look and feel. Okay maintain consistency in your graphics by applying the same filter codes to your images. So, depende, depende sa mga presentation or sa mga posting mo at sa content mo. Okay. So, with this, no, uh, depende kasi din sa storyline, no, na pinapresent mo na image, no. With this, no, very, ano sa kanya ang blue. No? Blue yung sky, blue yung, yung sea. So, with this image, no, very dominant yung color ng blue na to. Okay? So, yung consistency ng pagiging blue na sa image is nandun. Okay? So, that's all for the image. We'll move to the next slide. Okay, we now proceed to shapes. Uh, okay, other part, um, other elements or elements of a graphic design. Resizable squares and circles. Ayan. So, ito yan siya, no? And then yung line here, no, could be also a shape, the same time. With resizable squares and circles, you can draw emphasis to certain components of your text to provide interesting framing. Okay. Use shapes to highlight text. But then, just like F here, so nilagay ako ng additional shape para mas ma-emphasize tong F or Facebook. Just like this one, also in Canva. Maliit lang siya, no? But with the shape, it creates more emphasis. Go beyond squares and circles and opt for interesting shapes that draw attention to important text elements on the page. Okay. Okay, please click the tutorial to further increase your knowledge about this topic. Use infographics to represent data. Okay. So, with this, no, at least makikita natin with the shape that we have here, makikita mo yung trend, if it's increasing or decreasing, just merely seeing at this, uh, what do you call this, uh, a circle shape, no, just like a drum shape here, no, is makikita mo na, kahit di mo pa ito muna malabasa, makikita mo na progressive yung rainfall, yung income, or whatsoever, kung ano man itong graph you represent ng graph mo. By adding infographics to your presentations, you can add visual interest to otherwise dry statistical information. Use infographics to represent data. Of course. So, yun ang mga usage ng shape, no? 
just like the one here, parang ganito din yung principle niya. For graphics, you also serve to present complex information and relative data points in a way that can be quickly and clearly understood. Okay, yeah. By looking at this, yes, uh, uh, we would be able to gain a clear understanding on the result. No? Kung call man ito, yeah, graduation rates, etc. Consider the text size. Okay, uh, you can also do that. Huwag yung masyadong malaki like this one. Ito lang yung white spaces ko. So, ito lang yung pwede ko din naman siyang makonsume. With this one, I uh, use the uh, the almost three-fourth of the, the background image. So, no problem with that. So, adjusting the scale of your text will help, will help you infer specific elements or sentiments of your message. Consider the image size as well. Okay. So, you need also to consider the image, no? Kung hindi ba siya, most especially kung hindi siya magpipixelate, pag ginamit mo na siya. Alright? Enlarge your image to bring additional emphasis to the content that's conveyed in your text. Okay? Yeah. So, now we have the last part. I think this is the last uh, part of the slide, the layout design. The art of alignment center the elements on the space. Okay, so yeah. This one. Ito mo. In this, uh, instead of uh, putting it here, uh, I want to uh, show emphasis. So, nilagay ko siya sa gitna with transparent shape and then the text. Whether you're working with shapes or text, you can center the elements on the page to create a clean and focused design. Sabi niya. Okay? Just like here with Mexico. So, eto. The, the art of alignment use consistent margins of course okay so kung if you have design that is uh, left aligned at may related siya with other design you do it left aligned then para andun yung consistency no andun yung consistency kung it always ganito nasa center dito yung title so no problem with that you can use that uh, anywhere in any of your uh, marketing or social media assets okay or uh, um collaterals working with white space create a clarity and emphasis just like here no sayang naman tong white space na to kung hindi natin magagamit so we put their text it okay simple as that white space can be an effective way to draw attention for element is great clarity okay Another example is this one. No? Use color to create white space. Pwede din. No? So, ito talaga yung subject image mo. Naglagay lang ako ng background, I think. And then I put the image para magkaroon ako ng space dito. Okay, because I need, I really need to maximize the space to, so I could be able to put something here, relevant information about this image. Use color to bring up to your image or text. Okay, another another tutorial link okay. for the for the use text hierarchy okay with variable size text you can create more dominant elements which attract the eye first followed by smaller subtitle and body text that should be read later okay so with this now ang una naman natin babasahin with this picture is the milk secondary na lang yung end cookies okay so, yun ang sinasabi niya dito. Create more dominant elements which attract the eye first. Okay, just like this one. Tapos yung estropa, almost the same pa siya. So, upon seeing this image, ang una mo talaga babasahin ang makikita is yung font na milk. Okay? So, use color and type treatments. You have your dear waffles as a script. And you have your Tennessee Sun as a... Uh, uh, sorry, uh, sound sorry. Okay. Use font and text color to embody a message you're conveying with like with playful, uh, false, type based, or tennis session varsity lettering. Contrast large and small images. Okay. Bring emphasis to an image by enlarging it and contrast it against several other smaller images. Okay, so uh, you can actually resize it. Okay with this, kasi pag pinalakyan ko pa, makakover na yung mukha niya. So, you can also uh, consider that later on in your design. 
Okay? So that will be all class. So next will be I will this uh this I will be discussing to you your task on how you're going to do your task. Okay? So good luck and let's have a take a break for uh, 15 minutes.